Hi there, Bob from Insidium here. It's Top Tip Tuesday time, and today we're going to be using the new NX Cover modifier, and we're going to be using it to get particles to really turbulently cover a scene spline. We'll be using a text primitive, but you can use any spline. You can use X particles trails. You can use scene objects. You can use cloners, whatever you like. It's a really good technique, quick to set up. So let's start that clock, and we'll begin. In our scene, we have this particle cloud coming out of our emitter. The emitter is pretty much default. The only changes we've made, if we go to the emission tab, you can see we've got it on rate, but we've reduced the emission, so it's only going to emit 450 frames. We've got a birth rate of 4,000 per frame and a speed of 50 with a little bit of variation, 10. And that's giving us this particle cloud. And then we have this text primitive object here and we've written cover so we're going to reveal this writing with our particles by covering them let's go to insidium x particles nexus and we're going to bring in the new nx cover and this can take any object polygon objects primitives generators cloners any spline we're going to put our text uh, primitive spline in there and we're going to change it to edges and we're going to leave this pretty much on default in the movement section we have got it on using the particle speed which is what we want the only thing we'll change initially is this hold time i'm going to put it on to zero and that means that when a particle gets to its cover point on the spline it'll slow down stop and then it'll just be held there indefinitely so that's what we're going to do so with that on let's just hit play all of the defaults and our particles are traveling at the same speed but their direction has changed they're going towards their cover point on that spline and if we make it invisible now we're just looking at the particles now that's cool we've got the effect that we want but we've got this very kind of diffuse separated particle cloud here now we can improve this by making the emission point really small and this is good tip for if you're ever doing a scene that requires loads of particles you want to have a thin or small emission surface which will give you a really good thin wispy particle effects so in the emitter let's go to the object tab and we're going to make the width zero of our emitter and the height zero so now they're just emitting from a tiny point and when we do that you'll see that suddenly we're getting a much more detailed almost projection of our letters excellent so that is that and we're starting to spell out our word and it kind of builds like this but obviously it's not very um, organic it's not very random let's get a bit of movement in here we'll go to insidium x particles nexus and bring in a turbulence and we'll put our noise type on the brilliant voronoise we'll put this strength quite high let's say 20 we'll leave everything else default let's hit play now you're not going to see a change in particle direction here but look at what effect the turbulence is having on the speed we're getting these really nice waves of uh, particle speed changes as they uh, cover our spline so that looks really cool but what we do want you may want that 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 for a particular look looks great but what i want in this scene is a little bit of that turbulent um kind of swirling around the place and we can achieve that all we need to do is go to our nx cover and we can just reduce the strength of this cover layer look if we bring this down to maybe 19 percent now the turbulence is going to be allowed to move around yes look at that that is a brilliant look isn't it and that uh, just absolutely sells the shot now we need to get some color in this movement looks great there we've got some really cool overlapping wispy detail we need some color let's go to insidium x particles nexus and bring in the nx color modifier we're going to use we're just going to use one color layer for this let's go in and bring in a gradient by parameter layer let's load a preset and quite like this blue to green one here and we're going to map this we could map it to age which means when they're born they're blue and as they get older they go white but we're not going to get good definition in between our swirls with that because they're all pretty much changing at the same rate so let's try we want to do a different one we could do speed but we do speed a lot let's try direction um, this color will be mapped to the particles direction and you can choose the three different direction axes heading pitch or bank let's just try it on heading and see what we get with heading yeah that's looking really nice isn't it i like that a lot very cool 
Excellent. So now we have got this covering of our text spline. The only thing I don't like is that obviously it's covering that spline perfectly, but that gives us a very thin representation of our text. We can actually thicken this up a bit. Let's go to our NX cover and we're going to go down to our holding options, which we'd left on default. Now, by default, it's set to attract. So the particles are attracted to the cover point and at 50 centimeters, they start to slow down until they come to a stop. And that looks great. But if we change this to spring, now the particles are attached to their cover position with a spring, which means they'll overshoot it, stretch and then bounce back. And you get this quite cool spring effect. Now, this is a little bit too much for our scene. Um, so we need to just calm it down a bit. So let's calm it down by just adding some damping to that spring, maybe just 15%. You don't need to add much damping and it'll really, really calm down that spring effect. So with that damping, yeah, look, that's really kind of neutralized that somewhat. We're just getting this nice wavy settling. But here's a cool trick. Now that we've got that, if we increase the length of the spring, Watch what happens to these particles that have formed on our um, spline. If I increase this length, you'll see, look, they're starting to spread a bit as that spring is longer. We're getting this really nice, almost random looking dusting of our um, spline. So there with our spring and our coloration, let's have a look at it form comes to a nice wiggly stop if you want to reduce that wiggle more you can of course increase that damping even increase a bit of the stiffness but i like that as is and there we have got our really nice text spline reveal using nx cover the new nx color and our brilliant voronoise in the turbulence modifier